Feels great to make another video, am I right? I know it's been a while, but the first small thing that I like to add in here is to stay tuned at the end of the video for an important announcement. So anyways, let's get straight into it. The co-creator of Mortal Kombat, John Tobias, is responsible for the story that we all know from the first four games, including Mortal Kombat Mythology's Sub-Zero. And we all know that he is no longer with the series. He left in the middle of production of Mortal Kombat Special Forces, and since then, he's been doing his own thing minus his work on the Mortal Kombat vs. DC comic. But what if I told you that John Tobias has an entire screenplay of what his original Mortal Kombat 5 would have been had he not left the series? As we know, the last mainstream game that he worked on was Mortal Kombat 4, and the game that came after that was Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, which was picked up by new writers. We have known for a while that John Tobias actually did have plans for what to do with the story after MK4 when he talked about it on the On The Blast show with James MK back in 2012. There, he revealed that he actually planned to do what eventually MKX did, and that was the concept of the next generation of fighters, and yes, that did mean kids. He never went into the specifics as to whose kid or whose kids would be included, but the same idea that MKX picked up was what he wanted to do. He always thought the idea of moving on and going forward was the better approach than to go back and explain things that were already established in the story. And for a while, that's all we really knew about what he would have done after MK4. That wasn't until just days ago at the time of recording this video where John Tobias was on a podcast called Mortal Podcast and went into greater detail as to where he was going to take the story after MK4, which would have been his Mortal Kombat 5. Tobias revealed in the podcast that he wrote the story in screenplay format for a potential movie sequel, but that it was basically the same story he would have done for the games. So here's the main pitch of Tobias' Mortal Kombat 5. Liu Kang is dead, and goes unexplained as to why he is, and the main character of the story is the son of Liu Kang and Katana, and doesn't know how or why Liu Kang died. And over the course of the story, he learns the history of his father and what it means to him as a person. And the main theme that John Tobias wanted to convey in this story is being born into something that you are not prepared for, in the difficulties of having to grow up at a fast rate. As we follow the son of Liu Kang through the story, we find out why the history of his father and where he was from was not exposed to him early on in age. And the idea is that he was protected from his past and he's discovering who he is and how he fits into this world of Mortal Kombat. In the story, Sonya and Jax would have returned, but of course being much older. Along with getting back into the action, they actually were going to be mentor figures for the child of Liu Kang. One of the ways that he would have learned about his father is through Sonya and Jax, and also other original characters who knew him before he was born. Tobias didn't get into the specifics as to which original characters would have been there to teach Liu Kang's son about his father, and once again, Tobias would have introduced the next generation of fighters that included children of the original characters. The specifics are unknown about that as well, but he did say that none of the kids that we have now, like Cassie Cage, Jackie Briggs, and Takeda, was not what he had in mind. As for the two poster boys, such as Scorpion and Sub-Zero, he of course included them in the story as well, and suggested that Sub-Zero had a major role in the story, but didn't get into the specifics of that, and that Scorpion would have been his undead self being controlled by other forces, which assumingly is the Netherrealm. There was of course going to be a main villain to the story, which he didn't mention in the podcast, but if you're a lore fanatic like me, it's very safe to assume it was going to be Reiko. It was very clear in Reiko's MK4 ending that Tobias was setting him up to be the next villain, and Tobias has actually said before that his intention with the Reiko character was that he actually is Shao Kahn reincarnated, and his ending clearly shows that. So the story assumingly would have come down to the son of Liu Kang versus Reiko, who actually is Shao Kahn. Very original and progressive, yet still keeping the past very alive in this story. 
Further details like what was the name of Liu Kang's son, did Kitana die as well, what was the role of Sub-Zero, who were the next gen fighters, why did Liu Kang die, and so on and so forth, were not elaborated on. You can tell that Tobias didn't want to reveal too much about his story by the nature of his voice in the podcast, but even then, we still know a lot about what Mortal Kombat 5 would have been. Now, out of any cancelled or lost Mortal Kombat media, John Tobias' Mortal Kombat 5 game or story is something that is on the top of my list of what I want to see be revived. Again, Tobias has a script of this story, and I would really like to see this uploaded as a PDF somewhere online because I would read the whole thing. What I admire the most is the fact that this sounds so original and new, but it doesn't try to forget the past. It sounds like it's keeping the past very present in this story, while also being very progressive narratively. And even though we don't know his name, Liu Kang's son is already sounding like such a relatable character. He's learning more and more about how things used to be and what Mortal Kombat is. And that's almost just like us, as we are sitting here in our chairs and in our couches, learning more about Mortal Kombat the same way he is. Although I like Deadly Alliance and I like how the series overall turned out in the 3D era, I gotta admit, I think this story is something that would have been great for the series, and maybe something I would have preferred. The story would have progressed under one mind and one vision, and of course, that would have avoided an entire writer shift, which you can tell had some negative effects. Fujin was set up to be the next protector of Earthrealm and Raiden becoming an Elder God, but they chickened out with that idea in Deadly Alliance. Goro and Kung Lao made peace, and then Goro is once again working for Shao Kahn in Deception. There are more examples to cite, but you get the idea. So anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about John Tobias' Mortal Kombat 5. Would you guys like to see the PDF file of the script, and do you guys think it would have been good? Alrighty guys, announcement time. For those who have been following me closely, yes, the Mortal Kombat lore Q&A series will be returning with episode 5 coming out tomorrow. I am very excited to get this series going again. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this series to come back, and I'm doing it. So if you have any lore-related questions for the series, you can also leave those questions in the comments of this video since I am always looking for more questions to include for future episodes. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop me a thumbs up and stay subscribed so you can be notified for tomorrow's video and future videos as well. I will see you all very soon.